Pamil go! I'll be doing a night orienteering training. This will be my first night since you call, so quite a long time ago. This Friday we have RMO Championships, the regional champs, and then on Saturday we have the ST League final. So let's go to that training, let's see how I do in the night. I haven't done this in so long, so bear with me. Even though I haven't done night training in so long, this gave me confidence for tomorrow because I did so well, I knew where I was. Some small mistakes, yes, but it was so good. That was pretty good. Yep, pretty nice, pretty good stuff. Okay, so today is the regional championships for night orienteering. And it, I have to go in like an hour and an hour is my goal time because my distance is 8.2 kilometers. So I would say like, seven minutes per kilometer pace that is fast that is really freaking fast but i don't care about the place uh if i do well it's all right because tomorrow is uh Vesta Liga, so today is basically like a training <laughs> so yeah it's a beautiful evening and let's go what is your time that you're looking for today? Like your race time? It depends a lot uh, of the course. Yeah. It can be really fast. I think it, it can be even 50 minutes. Okay, if it's like very wide yeah. and runnable. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's possible. I'm so excited. From last week's fiasco, I feel so rejuvenated. It's such a peaceful evening. Let's go. I'm so excited. <laughs> well, this is a terrain from Riga, like literally magnets. On, well, it went well. I mean, it went. It must have gone well because I had been training in this terrain for all of my life. Um, some controls were a little dowdy and a little mistakes, but. In general, the whole course went pretty well, so the first control was quite straightforward. I was running just straight over the marsh next to the green area and I missed the, the rocks by a little bit, but it went alright. So what I was most surprised about is the big ass quarries that Finland has. These quarries were literally 50 meters deep. Uh, here I missed the quarry side and I ran past it, so I got a little confused. It took me like 3 minutes to find the control and here I lost like the second place to Johanna Huila, but yeah, the next remaining of the race went pretty alright. As you can see from the splits, I was literally running for the second place, but yeah, because of that mistake, I didn't really manage to get the second place. But still, to be quite honest, I was so shocked to hear that I got the third place in the end. That is literally over the top that I was hoping for, and I am so happy, so, so happy. Yeah, they... I mean, it was the race was so fast, but so here I like I ran to this road, and I think I ran a little too far. When I came up to the control, like I was at the spot, but I didn't find it. Yeah. So I think I ran a little further. And yeah. I I saw that yellow area there. Oh. It was quite good. Yeah, yeah. I come to ride. Did that was really shit to come up there. Mm -hmm. but oh yeah, yeah, me too. There to avoid mistake there on the control but oh so you went like that? yeah i also went like that yeah. because i was so tired of running <laughs> straight pretty good pretty good Last year I got 10th place in this IMO. I mean, there were a lot better runners, but still, this is so much better. And I am ready for tomorrow. I am ready for VST League Finals. Let's do this. I 
don't feel that good for me yesterday, but no choice, no choice, let's go. This is actually my first Vesta Liga and I'm excited. Okay, so we're like next to you call 2023, somewhere, somewhere there. Just before the start, Kruminch and Gustav Stani came up to me and asked, am I ready for this? And I said, no, hell no, I am not ready for this. I was generally scared chillless because this was going to be one of the toughest orienteering terrains I've ever ran in during the night and it was my first Fiesta League, first my actual team relay under Tampere and Pini Tonaim in the elite group, which meant I had a huge pressure on myself because I had the chance to show the coaches what I'm capable of. This could just well as be my big break in the sport. So when I looked at the map, it was generally scary because look at the terrain. It is so detailed, so many rocks and during the night it is crazy difficult. So the first forking was quite far away from each other and I've managed to find my own group as I did with the second control. Here I was running a little further than they were, so it was, I took the responsibility to actually orient here, uh, but the whole run together basically meant that uh, in the control locations, I knew where was the control because everybody went to some sort of spot. <laughs> I do agree that it looked like Yukola, but I swear to God, me and like two other guys running in the front of the pack, I didn't feel like I was running in the Yukola because we were just doing flawless orienteering and there was a huge crowd behind us all the way. Actually, on this hill, I led my little team. Uh, from 8th to 9th control. It, it was a, a difficult control, but I managed to understand where I was all at all times, and it felt a little weird that I'm not doing mistakes. So, <laughs> yeah, here the big group caught up with us, and we were just running together. So 11th, 12th, just dying, because we were so fast, we were running so fast. So after the 13th, we were just flying through the rocks and openings, and it was crazy speed, and I was running with Ulzo Petis, the Latvian legend that I've always looked up to, and I felt incredible to be able to keep up with him, and it, it like, I, I cannot even describe it, it was so crazy. Siinä muuten Virpi Reemalla. Teidän manatskeri tuli maaliin kakkosjoukkueen naisena. Täydentää Lahden suunnistajien daameja. Kyllä ja kakkos osuudeltais vasta. Kyllä. Sitten Ero Heinonen. Kolminen, Jekab Janov ja Vili Sipilä lähtee viemään pyrinväriä. Turun metsäkeviät kakkonen, Helsingin ystävät kakkonen, Tampereen pyrintä kakkonen, Paisuoraan. I can't believe that I'm saying this, but I had done it. I had achieved the goal of not being a total loser in front of everybody that I looked up to, and it felt amazing. So I had ran faster than first and second time preparing the team, and I felt just amazing. This is incredible. Yeah! I had literally the best run for my life. I'm yeah, joking, why I'm joking a bit and then, yeah. then I saw the first one coming and then it was you already. <laughs> Damn, it was good. Yeah, man, this is the most perfect run I've ever done in my life. Like, zero mistakes and I just kept up with the group. Yeah, you, you had a good stamina because like, the guys that I was running against... The best guy, perfect. Yeah. Yeah.
Raiko! Man, so the so last, bad. last loop. Uh, like we were rooting for you. <laughs> it was literally 300 meters to the finish. Yeah. Uh, Gee, uh, it's all right. It's all right. That's what I said. I said, I said, I said, I said, I I said, 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 I Jo, jā, nu, jo, šitais ar stāvēja augšā, nu, es, es zinu, ka man būtu jāiet pa kreisās, nu, tā kā nav to reliefu. Jā, yeah. ok, so, Sorsa, Tampere Pinto 1 and our boy Daniel Fomin, they're running together. Ja tässä tuo tilanne on, Einari Einarola on nyt laput siellä edessä ja pitää pystyä vielä oma suunnistuskin kasassa pitämään tähän rinteeseen. Ehkä ei. Ehkä ei. Nyt kuit kurkkaavat sinne alas. Ai, 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 ai. Nyt on. Onko meillä niin kuin kaksi miestä, neljä miestä vai viisi miestä samaan aikaan tuossa ja kyllä se nyt tässä tulee. Viestiliika kaudelle 2022. Draaman kaarta on tarjottu tämänkin viestin aikana upeasti. Ensimmäisellä osuudella hieman oltiin jo karkumatkallakin. KV Ti Lauri Silde. Ja Tampereen pyrintö Aleksi Sorsa. Ja nyt sitten mennään eikä meinata. Tarvitaanko kyynärpäitä? Kuka ottaa leiman viimeiseltä rastilta ensimmäisenä? Silti kumpi tämä vie? Metri kaksi on eroa. Topia Sarola ja Paimio Rasti, kun tämän nappaa. Kyllä, Paimio Rasti on ensimmäisenä. Sitten Lauri Silti toinen maaliin. Paimin go! Paimin mad, no. Paimio Rasti ottaa voiton. Turun suunnisteen Daniel Fomin ankkuroi joukkueensa kolmantena maaliin. Ei riittänyt, Ei riittänyt siinä se viimeisenä rinta. What happened there? Where? In, uh, the, in, in here. Just in no, we, we just didn't see the coach. Yeah. yeah, it's that. Well, we. I wouldn't say yeah, that. You we came up on top of the hill and then. Yeah. Did, did, did you see it on, already, like when no, you came? No, no, no. Okay, right. You, you were just, just next to it. We, we we came like this. Yeah, yeah. I know. And we saw this cliff and then the control. And then, so like then, then you were all we, together. We, we wouldn't yeah. do this mistake if it is, it was the day or anything. But at night we just didn't yeah, yeah. see it. And I think we just. We didn't have enough luck. Well, okay, shit happens. Okay, I just got home and I cannot put in words how happy I am because from last week my confidence went so low, it went through the ground, literally to hell. And now I I feel like I can do anything. Like I am so happy, I held on. I am I'm I'm just so motivated to train again. So Thank you all so much for watching this episode and let's continue this journey to road to World Orienteering Championships. Let's go. I know we can do this. Bye.